Hey, this is Dan with the Iron Edge Group, and today we're gonna to walk through how to blur your background while you're in the Teams application. So right now I'm on a Teams call with Haley. So everybody say hi, Haley. Hi, hi Haley. Guys. And maybe I wanna blur my background because I'm in a public place and there's activity behind me. Maybe people are getting served at the coffee shop and whatnot, and it's too distracting and I wanna blur it. Or maybe I'm at home and my kids and my dogs and my cats are walking around back there and I just kinda of wanna hide what's going on behind me. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna take my cursor and uh, one more thing, Haley's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna walk through it with us and you can see what it looks like on her end. So first of all, I'm gonna take my cursor and I'm gonna click on this, uh, this button right here that has the three dots, it says more actions. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna get an option right here inside of Teams that says show background effects. So I'm gonna click that a new pane will pop up on the right side of the window. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur my background. So to do that, I'm gonna choose this rectangle here at the top right that looks like a blurry gray image. I'm gonna choose that and I'm gonna preview it. So I'm gonna click preview. So you can see now me, the, the bricks are gone from behind me and it's the blurred background and that's pretty neat. Uh, but maybe I wanna do something else. Maybe I wanna put one of these images behind me so it looks like I'm somewhere else, that's fun. So I'm gonna choose this image here with these lockers. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm still previewing, so you can see behind me, it looks like I'm in a, you know, a school or an open office setting, so that's really neat. So I wanna keep that. So I'm gonna choose this option right here at the bottom right of the screen that says apply and turn on. So I click on that. And now uh, you can see it down here in my little, the little image here at the bottom right, it has applied it. And I now have the image of the lockers behind me. So uh, you can see that Haley did the exact same thing and behind her has the locker images as well. So I'm gonna uh, close my background settings window and now both of us have the same uh, image behind us and that's how you change your background and blur your background. So what you do in Zoom is you take your cursor and you click on this little up arrow right here by the, the video icon, by the camera icon. So I'm gonna click that. Um, and straight from here, it says choose virtual background. So that's easy. So I'm going to click that. And from this screen that comes up, it says virtual background. You'll notice there isn't an option to, to blur your background like Microsoft Teams has, but I can choose any of the images that are here. And if I click it, it'll automatically apply it to my session. So uh, I chose the bridge. Um, the bridge is hiding anything that's happening behind me. Maybe I'm in a public place and there's people being served food or people walking around and I don't want it to take attention away from what I'm saying. Or maybe I'm at, I'm at home and my kids are being unruly or my dogs and cats are, are all wound up and I wanna make sure that they're not taking the focus away. So I would choose a different background. So that's how you choose it. Now you can also upload uh, images to the Zoom platform so you can maybe have your company's uh, logo behind you. And the way you do that is you click this little plus icon right here and you can add images. So that's really neat. Uh, one more thing we wanted to touch on today was if you go to video and you click that, there's a really handy feature here that says touch up my appearance, which is kind of like a, it's kind of like a filter on your face and, and it smooths everything out a little bit. So I'm going to undo it. It's kind of hard to, to see here on me, but then I'm going to click it again and it, it just smooths, smooths your appearance out a little bit. Um, I like it. I always have that feature turned on, so that's pretty neat. You can also enable HD. So if you want to, you know, if you want your camera to project you in an HD format, you can click that as well. Um, I generally don't do that, uh, but that's it today. So uh, I'm going to close the settings window here. You can see on my side of the screen, I have the virtual background applied and you see on Haley's screen, she did the exact same thing. She chose a different image. Uh, we hope you like that and we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.